Hello everyone! For today we are going to talk about the dummy variables and the usage of one hotkey encoder to handle some challenges in datasets and some machine learning problems. So keep watching my videos and don't forget to share with your friends. Ok guys, let's see in which cases we use dummy variables and one hotkey encoding method. If you remember our previous example which was devoted to linear regression problem, our dataset contains only two columns and gene power is a feature and the price is a target value. But for this dataset we added the brand which contains the string values for categories of the cars like Toyota, Cherry and BMW. But the machine learning in fact only works with numeric columns and numeric values but here we have the string value so how we can solve this problem. Uh, suppose that we convert the text to number so we assign the integer number for each categories but uh, can it uh, solve the problem or not? If you uh, look at the categories here, if we assign the integer number, we will make the orders. How? The BMW, if it's equal to 3, is greater than Cherry and Cherry is equal than Toyota, so it's incorrect. Or in other perspective, the summation of Toyota and uh, Cherry is equal to BMW, so it's incorrect too. So uh, it means that assigning the integer numbers to these categories would not work here. How we can handle the problem? But before that, let me tell you some information about the categorical variables. We have two types of uh, categorical variables, the nominal and ordinal. For the variables which there is in any order, uh, we call them the nominal variable like BMW, Cherry, Toyota, Hot, Cold, Moderate, Male or Female. They are the categories but in fact there isn't any orders between the variables. But in other examples like Kid, Teen, Old, Small, Medium, Large, Bad, Good, Excellent, there is the order between variables. So we call them the ordinal variables. In this example, we are working with the nominal variables. How we can solve our problem? What was our problem? Let's remember that. Um, the challenge here was that uh, the table contains the string values uh, in categories uh, column. So we use the one hotkey encoder method to solve this problem. The one hotkey encoder creates the new table with the new variables which indicates the categories. So uh, after that, it assigns the binary values for each variables. So if you look at the table, the new table which is created by Von Hotkin encoder, uh, you will see that uh, for the brand of Toyota, uh, we assign the uh, number one for the new column Toyota and for other variables, Cherry and BMW, uh, number zero is assigned. So we created these three new columns because we had only three uh, categories, Toyota, Cherry and BMW, and we assigned the binary values for them. So for each section which is devoted for each category, number one is assigned to its own title. For example, for the first section, because uh, this section is devoted to Toyota, the variable Toyota, the column is uh, filled by number one and other variables are zero. For cherry section, number one is assigned under the title of cherry and the other variables are zero. And for in continue, for BMW, number one is assigned for uh, BMW variable and others contains uh, zero. These are the dummy variables, uh, the Toyota, cherry and BMW. Uh, in fact, successfully, the machine learning can work with these numeric values. So we can ignore the string columns, uh, which indicated the categories in brand. And uh, now we can work uh, with uh, the new uh, columns or new variables. So in the next section, I will show you how we can uh, implement the one hot key, uh, sorry, one hot encoder and uh, how we can use the dummy variables. So keep watching my video and because we are going to implement our code in Visual Studio. So for now we are going to predict a Toyota car with a Gene Power 2700cc and a Cherry car with a Gene Power 2200cc. 
So let's go to the code. We don't have much time because of Instagram limitation. Only 10 minutes videos can be uploaded. First of all, uh, we need to import the pandas library as PD because uh, by pandas library we are able to work on uh, data frames. So the PD that read CSV to read our data sets. Our data set is located in data set builder. Data set cars CSV and uh, we want to uh, print the data frame to see that our code is working well. So here is our data frame, brand, engine power, and price. So the other step is to create in the dummy variables according to the brand column uh, because uh, we have the screen, uh, string values that the machine learning is not able to work with the strings. So uh, fortunately, the pandas has uh, a function which is called uh, the get dummies, which can uh, create the dummy variables if dot in fact uh, the brand column so we assign it to for example dummies data frame so let's print dummies data frame okay Here is the dummies uh, data frame. Uh, the dummy variables are created here. So we, we need to uh, merge it with our main data frame. So we create a new data frame, concated as an example. So we need to uh, merge, again, pd.concat the df and uh, the dummies. Again, we need to uh, print the concated. Okay. So if uh, you see that uh, the uh, variables are added to the extra rows, but we want to add it to the columns. So we need to assign the axis property to columns. Again, we have printed. Yeah, you see that uh, the new columns, new variables, dummy variables are created here. But we face the uh, dummy trap. If you uh, just uh, Google it, you will see that uh, what is a dummy variable trap. The dummy variable trap occurs when uh, two or more dummy variables created by one hot encoding are highly correlated. Uh, this means that one variable can be predicted from the others. If you look at this data, uh, data frame, you will see that uh, we've got three uh, new variables here, but each of these categories can be predicted only by two uh, values. For example, 00, zero uh, can be devoted to Toyota, 01 can be devoted to Cherry, and 10 for BMW, so the extra column is not needed. So you can uh, drop uh, one of them uh, any columns that you want, okay? So uh, the complexity uh, can be uh, lower. So uh, another thing, uh, another column that you should be dropped uh, here is the brand column because we don't need the uh, string values. So uh, the new dummy variables is created here. That's why that uh, we don't need the brand column. So we need to uh, drop the final DF is equal to uh, the PD, uh, sorry, the concated data frame dot drop the brand and, for example, cherry. And again, the axis property is equal to uh, the columns. 
So let's see our final data frame by printing it. Uh, the final data frame. So, yeah, here is our final uh, data frame view of the engine power price BMW and Toyota. So now we are going to create our uh, model, the linear regression model. So scalar, the linear model. We can import our linear regression model. So the model is equal to linear regression. So now we are going to we are going to uh, train our model uh, with X and uh, uh, X value features and target value. So our X is equal to if you see this uh, data frame, the engine power price BMW and Toyota. Our X is engine power. BMW and Toyota. We can uh, drop the price column for our X value. So uh, the final dot drop uh, the price column. So uh, and also the Y is equal to the Final dot uh, price. Okay, so now we can uh, fit all our model. The model dot fit the x and y. So let's uh, run our code. Okay, our code is running. Now we've got the, uh, the price is not on here. Sorry. Final dot drop. We need to uh, choose the axis as columns. Okay, our, uh, our code is uh, running well. The model is fitted by X and Y. So now if we just predict, uh, as an example, what? Um, as an example, a car with, uh, let's see that, a car with engine power, for example, uh, what was our problem? Uh, a Toyota with engine power 2700. Okay, so the Toyota is a zero one with engine power 1200. So, uh, one, 1200, sorry, uh, 2700. 2700. And zero and one because zero, zero and one indicates the Toyota, and we are going to predict the 2700 uh, CC. So, yeah, if uh, we run the code, we can just uh, print it. Uh, there is the result is equal to this, and we can uh, print the result. Yeah, the result is $28,000 for a Toyota car with engine power 2700. Also, 2200 for Cherry car. 2,200, the cherry car was zero and zero. The price for, it, uh, for a car, for a cherry car with uh, 2,200 is uh, 12, uh, almost 12,490 uh, 
dollars uh, for the cherry car with engine power 2200. So it was our code implementation, it was really easy and uh, you can uh, try it with other data sets or uh, also this data set. Uh, if you had any question, you can uh, send a direct message to me. I will answer all the questions you have. Have a good time.